Gareth, thanks thanks for joining us. Um, first of all, how are, how are you and your family at this time? Good, thank you. Yeah, we're all safe. Um, such a strange time for for everybody, but yeah, we're all we're all okay. Uh, busy, obviously busy with the stuff with work and and, and busy. Obviously, my girlfriend's very busy with with her work as well. Um, so we're segregated in the house. I'm in the lounge. She's in the dining room. Um, and and trying to make the best the best of the situation. Trying to stay positive through it all. Um, but ultimately thankful for for being safe at home. Like the first team, you're obviously working from home, which obviously provides. Uh, its own challenges. Just give us insight into how the academy has been working and altered their operations. Um, but we've had to fundamentally change everything that we do. Um, obviously, there's a lot of everyone's in the same situation. Everyone's got to stay stay at home. So we had a, a couple of weeks of sort of planning over right how are we going to engage with our with our players, um, and that's across the under sevens all the way up to the 23s. So. The main area of focus is whilst everyone's reflecting on their own roles and the departments and things like that, that was the main focus for us. That how can we show leadership? How can we sort of work with our players to keep them active, to keep them engaged and ultimately keep, keep them positive? Because every person's situation is different. Um, so what, what can we do to sort of spread some good news and joy in, into the, our community? So what we've done is we've designed a lot of programmes, sort of age specific and phase, phase specific. Uh, that work on a variety of things to keep the boys active. Um, so that can be technically and tactically. We're using match analysis, um, Zoom calls, having group sessions, quizzes, um, doing things around the house, cooking lessons, um, because we're conscious that it's important that we develop them as players still through this off period. But most importantly, if we can, what can we, what impact can we make on them developing them as people? Um, and I think that's been the, the key to it. And it, it seems to have gone down well. The feedback's been good. Um, from players and parents and that'll continue now for the foreseeable future whilst the situation continues. Sounds like a big effort from every department in the academy. Oh it has, everyone's, um, everyone's been playing their part and, and whether that's the match analyst still clipping out games to put on the online system that we use, uh, whether it's the sports scientist leading a sort of a gym class or a yoga class, everyone stepped up to the plate and obviously we're thankful of that, of the fantastic coach, family and the owners um, we're making sure that we can continue that when other clubs have gone down the fur furlough route. So we obviously owe a huge debt to, the to those people for, for doing that. Um, but then that's allowed us to obviously to, to carry on the work that we're doing that that's goes down well with the players and parents. As well as continuing work during this period, does it also give you an opportunity to kind of reflect and assess as, as an academy over the last 12 months? Oh, definitely, and and that's sort of stressing that part of what I've sort of done with the, with the staff is just to get them to think about their own role this season, the successes and, and sort of mistakes that we've made, and we've all made them, um, and then to try and plan as best we can what next season might look like, and that's obviously to eradicate any mistakes that we made. But how can we, most importantly, how can we build on the strengths of a very successful season for the academy? Um, and how can we make that better? Um, because we always, we should always, any organisation is always trying to better itself year on year. Uh, and that comes from better themselves individually as, as members of staff, but then better themselves as departments. And even something simple as how can we work better with each department, that will make us better for when we do return. So there's a lot of work going on sort of behind the scenes of, yes, reflecting, being proactive for next season, but then obviously dealing with the situation that we're in because it's obviously, I know it's said a lot of times, it's unprecedented and, and no one's really got a, an action plan or no one's really got a manual of how to cope or deal or, or what to do best. So uh, we try to sort of take it sort of week to week and sort of, try and plan as accordingly as best we can. Before the seasons were halted, and particularly the under 23s and under 18s had, had had a fairly positive campaign. How do you reflect on their on their seasons? Um, very good. Uh, I think we've got to be pleased with the strides of the sort of players that we made. Um, obviously having Nathan and, and Tyrese play so many games, that's fantastic for the academy um, and, and there's a real shiny light for everyone to aspire to. But then the boys sort of below that who are still maybe behind them in their development journey, they've had success as well. Um, and obviously there's been a bit of team success in terms of results, but generally over the course of all players have, have improved. And we, we're delighted with that all the way through from the under nines all the way up to the, to the under, eight, under eight teams into the 23s. Obviously success for us just comes in a variety of forms. Um, yes, we, under, number one aim is getting players into the first team and having appearances for them. Uh, but also the success of the lads out on low. That's a mark of success for us with Joe and Harry doing fantastically well and earning brave, report, brave reports. 
and then the amount of players that we've had training with the first team, at least being in front of the, of the managers that we've had, um, and then filtering down from that, the loan appearances at the non-league level, the under-18s have had. It's been a very, very successful season for us. Now, the key bit, as I said before, is how do we get better? And I think that's one thing that I've always been keen to do with learning around, you know, to looking at other organisations that you, so as soon as you think you've cracked it, that's when you start to make mistakes. That's when you start to go backwards. So it's important for us that we reflect and sort of trying to make it better. Even sort of one more appearance or five more appearances will be better next year. And that's the stepping stone to, to get we where, to where we want to get to.